हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फाइल स्ट्रीम्स इन सी प्लस प्लस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट माय इन्फॉर्मेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड्स माय ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल सो फर्स्ट द कंसेप्ट अबाउट फाइल स्ट्रीम्स सो इन सी प्लस प्लस द फाइल स्ट्रीम्स आर मैनिपुलेटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्ट्रीम ऑब्जेक्ट्स फॉर दिस पर्पज थ्री क्लासेज नेम्ड आई एफ स्ट्रीम ओ एफ स्ट्रीम एंड एफ स्ट्रीम्स आर यूज these classes are used to uh, store input and output of the program permanently on hard disk so this is the main purpose of uh, implementing this feature if you want to store input and output of the program permanently on hard disk uh, for that purpose we can use the concept of file streams so file streams classes are uh, declared in f stream and therefore we must include f stream file in the program to work with file stream so this is a header file so uh, whenever you are implementing file stream classes then you have to include this header file in the program now opening and closing of files so to perform input and output operations with disk files through program we need to open and close a file in c++ we can open a file through the following ways so first is using the constructor and second is using the open function of the class so when we want to open only a single file in the stream then constructor is beneficial and if we want to manage more than one files using one stream then open function is beneficial so uh, this is your choice you can either use constructor or you can use open function files can be closed using close function either opened by constructor function or open function of the class so uh, this is the example for uh, opening a file using constructor so this of of stream is name of class o file is its object and we want to link student.txt class to uh, store uh, information which are generated uh, through the program so this is uh, object creation uh, using constructor then second statement is if stream it is creating object i file and name of uh, file is student.txt so again uh, we are linking this object with student.txt to to read some uh, information from student.txt here again uh, we have used constructor to open this file another uh, type of opening uh, files is open function so here of stream name of class then o file is object then o file dot open so this object is linked with this function and this is name of file uh, in which we want to store output then o file dot close function then o file dot open now it is opening emp dot txt so you can also see the benefit of open function through a single object o file we have linked two files first is student dot txt after its use we have uh, opened emp dot txt so this we cannot do with constructor because constructors are called uh, at the time of object creation but we can call open function anywhere in the program so this is your choice uh, whether you choose constructor or you uh, use open function then these are uh, different modes to open a file so first is ios scope resolution in uh, it is for reading only second out for writing third a double p for append mode append means addition at the end of file then ate uh, go to end of file at opening time then binary this opens a file in binary mode then trunk truncate the file if already exist then no create open fails if file doesn't exist so if file is not available it will not create any uh, new file and open file opening will be failed no replace Uh, open fails if file already exists so if file is already available new file will not be created so this is example of stream name of class then object o file then this is the file uh, which we want to link with our c++ program then these are two modes ios append and ios binary and this operator is used as or operator so if we want to uh, use multiple modes then we can use this or operator 
then for open function uh, file uh, sorry uh, class name of stream then object name o file then o file dot open then a uh, name of file uh, through which we want to uh, read or write information then file opening mode append and binary so we can use uh, these modes in constructor as well as we can use these modes in open function now this is the example uh, through which you can understand how we can write information to a file so this program says writing data with stream classes so in this program you have to read some information from user and those information will be permanently stored inside a file so account number and name two variables are declared of int and character type then using o stream class i have created a object o file then o file dot open is linked with account dot txt so uh, because we are using o of stream class that's why this file will be uh, opened in writing only so so that we can write information into this file then see out and see in these inform these uh, statements are reading information from user then for writing purpose i have replaced see out with o file so o file means account dot txt because we have linked that account dot txt file with o file object so account number and name will be uh, stored inside o file means account dot txt then o file dot close so information will be received by the user and the uh, received information will be stored inside account dot txt file now uh, through your compiler you can open account dot txt file by going uh, into file menu and open option in open option you can type account.txt that file will be opened and it will be containing account number and name of the person which you have received from the console so this program reads information from console and write that information into hard disk permanently this is another program which reads data uh, with stream classes so this program reads data from file and display uh, back the display back that data on console so again two variables are declared this time if stream class object i file is created it is opening account dot txt in read mode because we have used if stream that's why this file will be opened in read mode so if i file through i file we are reading account number and name from the file and through see out these information will be displayed on console and uh, last i file dot close so these two statements are responsible for reading data from file so uh, while you are executing this program you don't have to enter anything the account number and name will be displayed automatically from the uh, file now this program is for reading and writing objects so this is a simple class which is containing roll number and name as attribute then read function and then print functions are defined so in this program uh, we are going to uh, read and write objects of classes into a file or uh, from a file so first i am going to write an object uh, into a file so of stream class name then out file is object then student.txt is file name Uh, in which i want to write data and it is opened in binary mode then an object of student class is created then as dot read is reading information from console then out file dot write so here write function is used to store information into a file so here two arguments are available first is character pointer and address of s so i have type cast uh, this uh, s objects address into character pointer then size of student so student is name of class so its total uh, size uh, or you can say number of bytes will be available here and beginning address will be provided by this ampersand s statement so uh, from beginning to the number of bytes the data will be stored in, into the file then out file dot close will close the open file which is student dot txt now if stream is creating a object in and it is opening student dot txt in read mode along with binary then i in file dot 
read so earlier we have used write function now i am uh, using read function so read function will read information into this s object and how many uh, number of bytes it will be decided by this size of student statement so this uh, size of student argument will uh, mention how much amount of memory uh, is going to be read from the file and the information will be stored inside s then s dot print this uh, print function will print the information uh, on the console and in file dot close will close the opened file so uh, through this uh, this program uh, you will be able to understand how information uh, is entered by the user through console and it is written inside a file then again we have uh, received that stored information from file and it is again uh, displayed on console so total 5 sorry total 4 functions are used first s dot read is reading from uh, console then out file dot write is writing into file then in file dot read is reading from file and s dot print is again printing the results on console so uh, implement this program on your uh, systems so that you can understand the concept of file streams so whatever type of or uh, whatever information you enter in this program will be permanently stored inside student.txt thank you for watching this video